Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are here for another home tour and we are right here in Country Club Hills, Illinois. We got a special one for you guys today. Let's check it out. All right, guys, as you can see, we are right inside of the living room, okay? So plenty of space on the inside of this property, okay? So you can see here that there are recessed lights throughout and look at the hardwood floors, guys. It is plenty of uh, space on the inside here. And you guys can see that they just did these floors as well, all right? So that's the left-hand side as soon as you walk in. Then that is the front door that we just came in through, okay? So you got fresh paint all throughout. Looks like they replaced a lot of the trim as well. This area here, I tried to get that light to turn on. I wasn't able to do that. But this is the dining room area with a little bit of an opening here as well. I'm going to bring this around just so you guys can see how this looks, okay? So again, recess lights there, living room. We're standing inside the dining room. Download our free buyer's guide and top mistakes that first-time home buyers make today. Scan the QR code or click the link in the description below. Dining room going right into the kitchen, okay? So again, you can see right through here inside the kitchen. We're gonna just come all the way around here so you guys can see the kitchen in full, okay? I really like how they did this backsplash color as well. You guys can see right over here, it's a great complement uh, to the kitchen color overall. And it looks like we got a three-piece appliance set. We got an updated refrigerator, we have a nice oven, and of course we have a dishwasher as well. So again, brand new everything is looking like. Uh, looks like they replaced a lot of this stuff. You can even see the plastic still on uh, the refrigerator there. And of course you have all the space you need on this oven as well. This is a look at the backsplash. I wanna make sure you guys get it in the lights so you guys can see that. There you go, okay. And of course, no, simple, nothing crazy. Now, it, there is no granite in here. We do have laminate countertops. Don't know if that's a deal killer for you all, okay? And I'm gonna give you a side view of what it looks like inside the kitchen as well. And then also another look uh, through this little opening here to the living room, all right? Let's go ahead and check out the basement first, only because I would have to go back and around if we go upstairs. We're already in this section. This is the lower level. So this would be the basement. Now, we got a lot of rooms to cover, okay? There's rooms over here, there's rooms over there. <laughs> so this is going to be bathroom number one, okay? As you guys can see here, it's a very nice bathroom on the inside here as well. Look at that vanity, all right? We got some nice, um, uh, coarse fixtures here as well. We got a push button toilet here as well. And look at the bathroom. Overall, it looks nice. You got a bathtub in here as well too. Then you got that repeating uh, backsplash coming from the kitchen as well. I mean, the shower head is crazy, okay? Y'all see how big that is, right? <laughs> okay, and then of course, you also have some space to put your stuff here as well. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys another look just from the side here. You got, of course, the mirror and, of course, your vanity here. Let's go ahead and make our way to the next area here. Now, as you guys can see here, this is a door that they have. So if you, of course, want to close this off, it's up to you. Uh, but this is going to be, of course, where the washer and dryer would go. So not the cleanest area. Uh, of course, they got an old slop sink in here. All right, then, of course, you have your electric panel there. And, of course, you have the hot water tank. Looks like you're gonna be replacing that really soon. And then of course you got the furnace in here as well, okay? Now, that's the thing. Sometimes when you're showing these, not showing the property, but sometimes when they're rehabbing these properties, you just don't know how much work they're gonna actually do, okay? So let's go and see what's behind door number one, all right? So now this is going to be, looks like they have this for storage and that's gonna give you access to the kitchen drain and clean outs as well too. So you got plenty of space in there. Then we have a room over in here, in this area, okay? Small room, but simple, right? Simple, straight to the point. You have your window, you also have your uh, closet as well. Let's take a look and see how much closet space we have inside this property, all right? So I know, of course, in the comments, you guys have been saying, man, why do they have the drawstrings? I, you know, I don't know why they just don't get it uh, <laughs> connected the proper way. Uh, but again, I know it's a money saver, but yeah, you just never know. 
Then, of course, you got an electrical outlet inside the closet, too. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a side angle view of the room from this angle, and I'm going to give you guys another angle as well, just so you guys can get a feel for how big this room is, okay? Next, we're going to go to the next bedroom right over here in the corner. So this was a little bit smaller, okay? So I'm going to give you guys a corner look so you guys can see how much space is over here as well. And then, of course, you can see right here that there is, yet again, another pull string to get into the closet lights, okay? So you got some shelving in there. It's a decent amount of space, actually, okay? And you do have tile throughout the entire property, uh, or at least in the basement, I should say, uh, down on the, on the basement floor, okay? And let me see, we got some space back here, nothing too crazy, but that is where your uh, outlets are as well, all right? Now, this was the basement area, all right? This is the left side that we started, and then we're gonna be going back up through. Now, this is the back door, so we'll use this area to go and check out the backyard here. It is a rainy day, so we won't spend too much time outside, but I do wanna make sure you guys get a chance to see the backyard. We're probably gonna go through the front door, actually, now that I think about it, okay? So this is what it, the living room looks like, just from the steps up, so you guys can see, again, plenty of space inside the living room section, okay? Now, again, look at those hardwood floors. Just extremely nice, okay? All right, now, we got this closet over here. Looks like we have, of course, just storage, but it also looks like you would have to move this shelf in order to get to, like, the crawl space area here. I don't think that that's a good design because, obviously, you got to move some stuff out the way, okay? Then, of course, we have bedroom, uh, the next bedroom. So we saw bedroom three and four in the basement. This is going to be the additional bedrooms as well. There are three bedrooms up here. Okay, so this is going to be the first bedroom on the upper level. Okay, now in my opinion, they should have just had two bedrooms on the second on this floor and then two down in the basement. Here's why we are yet again in another small bedroom. Okay, now that's just that's just my take on it. Let me know your thoughts inside the comment section below. They got the old school pull sh uh, string situation in this closet as well, too. They got the hardwood, right? But you got some smaller rooms. So listen, I'm going to tell y'all, you may have to knock a wall down, okay? And I'm seeing that, too. There's nothing wrong with knocking a wall down, guys, if you need that space, especially if they're next to each other. You see this? You already got the setup, right? So you could easily just you know, knock that wall down, close this off, and make this your master. You guys see that? Let me know in the comment section below, because this is the master right here. I'm gonna let you know that right now. This seems to be the biggest already, but come on, we need more space than that, okay? But anyway, <laughs> so this is the master bedroom here. Again, plenty of space, but you can always knock that wall down and get some more space as well too. Get you a master bath, why not, okay? Um, then of course you do have the closet space as well too, so plenty of closet space there. Then of course you have access to uh, the backyard. Okay, not access to the backyard, I'm sorry. You can actually see the backyard from here, so we'll be back there in a second so you guys can actually see what that looks like as well. Let's go behind this closet so you guys can see here. This is obviously going to be the linen closet here, so you have plenty of shelving space in here as well. All right. Then, of course, we have bathroom number two. This is going to be on the second floor. Okay, this is going to be the top floor. That's your tile choice that they have in here as well, all right? So clean, you know, simple stuff, nothing too crazy. You got the mirror that's there as well too. And again, looks like we're seeing another huge shower head, okay? They must got these on discount or something like that, okay? Uh, Cause they most definitely have it in here. Then they got the backsplash as well. So you do have the bathtub and I'm just gonna give you guys a little turn here so you guys can actually see that as well, all right? Now, let's make our way over to the third bedroom, this is the third bedroom that's up here, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a corner view just so you guys can see how much space is inside of this particular bedroom, okay? The door is in front of the closet. You guys can see the pad there just to make sure it's not making too much noise when they do hit, well, I'm assuming it's gonna hit each other, right? And then, of course, you have the closet space there as well. So you got plenty of space that it looks like inside of this closet as well. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the backyard just so we can see what you guys are working with, uh, you know, of course, outside, all right? And by the way, guys, we can help you nationwide. Of course, we are here locally 
uh, here in Illinois. But of course, if you guys are looking for properties, you know, anywhere, uh, we most definitely can help you uh, do so depending on where you are, okay? So here's where we are. So this is the driveway. So if you guys remember when we first started, this is the driveway that we were actually in originally, okay? That's the door we went in. And then there is another, there's a side door on the other side. So this is drive the driveway and it dips down. And I, I like that feature because this is gonna make the water run off, but you have a three car garage situation here, okay? And of course, this is gonna be your backyard. So you got plenty of space right here in the backyard, really low maintenance um, as well too. So if you're looking for something where you don't have to do much, uh, this is uh, one to have on the list for sure, okay? I'm gonna give you guys another view here just from this angle, all right? But, and then of course you can also see here on that side to the left, that's where that other door is uh, that leads off the kitchen to come to the backyard, all right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys at the next home tour. Have a good one.